All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Vinland Saga, ep- season one, one episode, episode 12. 12. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and oh boy, the last episode, holy crap. Yeah. It was Ooh. so good. Yeah. We got uh, Thorfinn saving uh, Knut and Ragnar. Indeed. indeed. Uh, we got him squaring off against Thorkel again. We now know that, <laughs> uh, well, no, Thorfinn knows that mm-hmm. uh, Thorkel knows who his father right. was. Yep. And that, yep. Mm-hmm. You know, they have Which their, is kind of a big deal. Their history kind of a big and deal. stuff. But, um, yeah. but now, now Askeladd has Knut, but the thing is, he's not treating Knut like a hostage. He's treating him like a lord. Right. So, is this all part of his plan? Two hundred IQ. Yeah, yeah. This is part of some kind of a play oh, here. Boy. So this is this is big. We still have you know Thorical to look forward to because he's still going to be hunting King right. Swain because he wants yeah. King Swain Pie to notice. Yeah, him. yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> notice me, Swain Pie. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh, oh my oh god. Boy. And uh, yeah, we've had some really cool uh, conversations in the past with Askeladd yep. uh, regarding some some big things around his mm-hmm. character. And see oh, yeah. how he makes his moves here, and oh, potentially man. kind of ties in, maybe with some of the things that are going uh-huh. to happen in the future. Yeah, like, could be really exciting, y'all. Yes. So, without further ado, let's get into this. Just like straight into the opening. Okay. What went wrong? Man, what uh, went this wrong? opening, I just, I love it so much. This is love the fittest and it's What went wrong? What went wrong? What went wrong? I paid my dues. I have sold my soul. So tell me what is left for me when I've given up everything. <sighs> like amidst all the hype and yet Land on the far bank. Oh, bad day for fishing, huh? Is this guy a dead man? No, I think he's just gonna ask him for info about where they are. <laughs> He's making small talk. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah. But that's a small boat for the amount of people they have. Yeah, exactly. How long would it take to go back and forth? Right, but for just Canute. <laughs> oh. oh, message. Whoa. Whoa. Wait. His armor? Or just the fact that his hand's on his sword. No, I think it was the armor specifically. He looked at the... He looked at the chest plate, uh, the breastplate. Trying to find the army. ラヌカ。おい。ラグナルさん、落ち着かにね。見える。その尖がり頭に息。ご飛躍近く。後ろにぴったりつけてるぜ。歩いて1日の距離だ。もう、わお。That's。Yeah. Scout, maybe. Oh, 
Crap. Crap. Wow. We need to cross the river now. Thorfinn's gonna escort Canute across the across the. Oh no, no, there. He already went off. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. All right. What's your play, Askeladd? That letter. That letter. Yeah. So does Askeladd have like some connections in England? Maybe. Because he mentioned his uh his mother's name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, they need night watches because Yeah, they might actually not do night watches just on the gamble that it will take, you know, at least another, like, 6 to 12 hours for them to catch up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, he has. Good. 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 <laughs> Whoa. Okay. What did you get when you saw Canute? Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he's he's young. Because <laughs> it's not the face of a king. Ooh. Oh, that's that's the worst. Yeah, you cannot have, you cannot have your cart get stuck. Uh huh. Okay, it's been a couple days. This is about that point when they would catch up. Mm hmm. Hopefully, they've been having to deal with the weather and it's you know slowing down. But they might not have carts. Yep. Uh, oh. Yeah. Crap. And there's the fog and everything. Yeah, this is. Oh my god. Oh my god. And at the worst possible time. This is oh like god. some Levi taking the yeah, this through is, the Yeah, this is all part of Erwin's like... failsafe plan. Wait a minute. What is this? What is this? this? Oh crap. Wait. Oh crap. Why do I get the feeling we're about to encounter like an old school group of Roman legionnaires? Like Yeah, yeah, like, uh-huh. Like I straight up get the vibe. What the f what Uh yeah, yeah 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 look at this uh huh yeah 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 look yeah, at yeah, this yeah, dude yeah, yeah oh my god okay um so what so is going on その船が連中を乗せて川を渡ったってわけだどこの船だったかわかるかいやそれがはっきりとは南西ヤギの父みたいにキレが焦げちゃったうん<笑> Oh, so... I love how they're not calling it Ascalon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, Ireland. Yeah. Wales, Wales, duh. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Alright. But those are old school Tyremes, dude. Those are. Yeah. This feels like Roman stuff. Gainsborough, I 
なら二席でよい、詰めれば百人くらい。ダメです。わがまま有効はできますよ。<笑>ウェールズの地を歩けというのか、バカな。この地の民は、我々は。Well, maybe not then. Maybe they don't hate you, yeah. Maybe they hate you specifically. Oh, a hawk. We even have our Griffin yeah, yeah,、uh -huh. character yeah, making yeah. a hawk. I'm not sure if you're going to be a hawk. I'm not sure if you're going to be a hawk. Of course. Put yes, yes, I am all on board with this. Yeah. I'm not sure if you're going to be a hawk. I'm not sure if you're going to be a hawk. Oh. So, so 16? Ha ha ha! Yes! <laughs> Establishing dominance, what do you think? Right, right, there we go. Yeah, nice, nice. <laughs> Who is this guy? So, he looks Roman, doesn't he? Gratianus, that's that, that literally yeah, sounds like a Latin based, like old school Roman name, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, I mean, maybe I'm just an idiot and I don't know anything, but like, well, and well, in the ships and everything, in the in the kind of armor, and, yeah, it all fits. So he said his mom's name was Lydia.、Mm -hmm. Who did he say his father's name was again? Because he said it a long time ago. Whoa. Yo, leave us alone. That is a. Yeah? Yes.、Mm -hmm. This is cool. <laughs> Is that what it is? Yes, absolutely, he is. Right now? I mean,、uh, yeah. Like, you guys need his help. You guys really need his help, yeah. You guys would be dead. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 <What? laughs> yeah, got him. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. I was waiting when I was going to do that. Yeah, here it comes.、There. Here it comes. Here's,、yeah. the, here's the women. Oh my. Well. <laughs> here comes his drunken ravings. Uh, what do you seek? Right. <laughs> booze. <laughs> like, is it going to be something transcendent like truth? It's like, no, it is booze. Love. Oh. Interesting. This is, is going to be like Mulan, the traveling soldier, is talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Some kind of food? <laughs> wow. Oh. Whoa. This guy's actually giving、mm -hmm. some wisdom here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. I really like this background yeah, track. Yeah, soft piano. Yeah. 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 Oh. That's why he put Thorfinn next to him.、Mm -hmm. Yep. Whoa. 
Oh, Pat sent it on some info. They've picked up our trail. There's no way. Let's move! Yep, yep. Oh boy. Man, it's a trap. Yep. Yep. <laughs> oh. Crap, crap. Archers on the hills. Archers on the hills. Oh boy. Yep. It's a Get perfect. down! Oh man. Oh man. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, that's a Oh, that's a transition. No way. He's already here? No, no, no. He oh. has to go all the way around the river. He's he's taking the oh, slow. Oh, yeah, way, this I is remember. just the transition. He has to go all the way east then yeah, yeah, come that was back. Yeah, yeah, that was just a scene cut. Yeah. Right, right. Oh, okay, Swain. Is this like a like a mid-season finale kind of feeling to you? Erickson, Leif Erickson. Yeah! Wow! Where is he? Where is he? Where is he at? Oh, oh, he thinks... Oh, yeah. Oh, oh he's looking for Thorfinn. Yeah! yeah. Sweet! Okay. Okay. <sighs> Keep trying, buddy. Keep trying. Oh yeah, let's zoom out. Like they're not gonna with. end it here, though, are they? Like oh oh oh, oh. oh no! Oh. Wow, he leapt off. Yeah, that was some dexterity. That is a shit ton of archers. Like this is not Again, good. The high ground. Oh, he picked up a shield, and he's standing up from on top of the wagon, like he is making himself a target. They need to go all sort of the stranger right here. Yep. Okay. Yeah, and that's, that's the end of the episode. That's the end of the episode. Oh man, now the cat ended it there. <laughs> yeah. The cat ended it there. Because like that's that's uh. And and this probably is the like the mid-season finale because there was the break between the two cores. So mm -hmm. so people had to wait on that for that's, what? Like a, a I mean few probably months? a week or two. Oh. Probably not that long. Because oh. if anything, like I've heard we're still we're still a few weeks or so behind everything in terms of okay. episodes and stuff. So, ah, yeah, but, but, uh, wow. Uh, wow. Oh, my God. Okay, okay. Uh, this, uh, who was, mm, who was, so um, good. crap, who was, um, remember when, uh, remember when Askeladd swears? He's uh -huh. like, in the name of my father... Because I think we've heard his father's name before. The fact Maybe. that Askeladd is name dropping his mother makes me think that Askeladd is not a uh, well, not a Nord well, specifically. Well, I don't think he was name dropping his mother. I think it was that I am Askeladd, son of Lydia, basically, so that that way, because he used to, he knows these people, well, so well, that, no, that way they know. No, it's that's him. my point: is that his family or his mother, at the very least, was Welsh. I'm guessing. I'm Probably. guessing it's a thing of where Probably. he has... He yeah, because they said, you you speak kind of like the people of my homeland. Right, right, exactly, yeah. Okay. All right, well, that was that was fantastic. Yeah, like, that was... Um, we got... Amazing. Like, we got... That was so good. Oh, we, so, we got our chase, we got our 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 moments of Askeladd kind of pulling an Irwin here and basically uh -huh. being like, you guys need to trust me. I need you guys to march faster. I need you guys to be a little bit in a state of panic so that you don't mm -hmm. fall asleep or do anything yeah. like, you know, like that here because we've got to, we've got to go. Mm -hmm. So. Right, right. Oh, um, wow. Yeah. I think, I think you meant Levi, right? Or, well, no, I guess, yeah, Irwin well, does that kind of stuff too. But yeah. yeah, but yeah, but mm -hmm. they both kept it close to the chest. The point right, is, right. is that basically they, yeah, they had a um, plan and yeah. it was only oh, um, Askeladd that really knew about it. Because the reason why I don't compare it to Levi is because Levi didn't even know what the plan was. He was just listening to Erwin and basically just... Oh, sure. Like, okay. he just knew he had to keep um, going. Gotcha. But, uh, oh, man. So, oh, boy. Oh, boy, um, oh, boy. Askeladd, I believe, is then half Nordic and half um, uh, Welsh then at this point well, here. Well, because he has the connection to, to mm -hmm. these people, right? And, yeah. and the thing is, is that 
you know, him saying that he's been around, you know, liars and cutthroats for 40 years, like, right. this, th that makes, what it would make me think is that this is something where maybe he grew up there. Right, uh -huh. you know, like like he was there as a kid or, or something like, like that. Really young, I don't know. Though. Yeah, and what I'm guessing is that he was probably, um, probably just just gonna throw throw an idea out there is mm -hmm. that he was probably um, Lydia's son, you know, a, a Welsh girl or what have you. But there's a possibility. There's also the thing of where he was taken from this area. And Lydia was forced to be with whoever Olaf is, and then he's always maybe felt this kind of kinship back with uh, this, you know, Welsh landscape or what uh, have potentially, you. potentially. But, but he probably would have but, some connection yeah. to her. So well, and 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 if that were the case, then then that would seem like uh, Olaf wasn't his actual father. That was just you know the person that raised him or something like that. But I, I mean, and I don't but think it could have been. A but sense of sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, but but a bit of a but in order for him to know these people, it makes me think that like he previously like served under this guy maybe or or, or something you know. But um, yeah, he called him the commander, and basically right. the, the knowledge of this guy Gratianus makes us kind of be aware that okay, no, there's history, there's secrets, there's mm -hmm. there's there's time that was spent between not only these two but between Ascalad and this people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. They're allies. It's not just a simple thing of right. You know, yeah, and and he did the whole thing of bowing, which which could be considered just a sign of respect of the fact that you know the leader came himself yes to oversee this right. Mm -hmm. But it could also be something where it's like, well, maybe maybe it's actually that he he previously was in this guy's service. You yeah, know? Um, I would definitely buy that. Yeah, I would and, definitely buy that. And you got the Roman vibe too. Oh, right? oh yeah, totally. I mean the the yeah with the with the armor and the and the warships and everything and and it kind of makes sense because if they haven't been ruled by another king since then yeah then there would be no like the past would still be something that they would hold on to it wouldn't be it wouldn't be painted over by some new ruler right yeah so you yep. know which would then explain why Ascalad knows about the Roman Empire and things yep. like that because when you know talking about a difference of a hundred years right like we don't know like we we hardly know what happened a hundred years ago and even then it's because of like history books and things like that but if you didn't have that it's all like story so so yes. that's not something that just happens right and and the big thing that's crazy about an empire that spans a continent is that while the roman empire fell 500 years ago like mm -hmm. in terms of it you know falling apart the people that still lived in britannia you know right as yeah it was they're not just gonna poof into nothingness. They right. have kids. They have history, and, culture, and that right. perpetuates yeah. over time. Yeah. Right, exactly. Like the Hadrian Wall doesn't just kind of disappear overnight or what have you. Like, like there's there's obviously going to be times where they'll tear down old structures of previous cultures right. and generations to make way for the new. But but, but given that there wasn't the people, some right the the culture it makes sense that the culture would stay largely the same because mm -hmm. if you know if say that they were a part of the Roman Empire for hundreds of years right there would have, the the generations would have passed and the mm -hmm. culture would have essentially been shifted right right and then and then if there isn't anyone else that comes in to to supplant it Which then they just were. continue. But they didn't go to Wales. Those were the right, Saxons. Right, exactly. Those were the Saxons. Yeah, that, so then, then they would just continue as they were. They'd build the ships the same way they yep. used to. And they, you know, because information doesn't travel, you know, and things like that. Yeah, that's the other like, thing. The fact that they build the ships probably the exact same way, just maybe change up some symbols of the, right. the, 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 the insignia. Because and habit, have you, you know. Well, because also there would be new family, you know crests and what happened. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, the symbols, sure. But the but. idea that they build the ships the exact same way also because in terms of information with regards to the Dark mm -hmm. Ages and stuff, yeah. they wouldn't know any other way maybe to build effective ships. Right. So the idea that so they're they need like, to make sure that no one loses that because if they lose the information of how to, say, build these ships, they might not be able to build any. You know. So yeah. that's why it's like, no, no, no. These Three ships warships, are, that's are a big deal. Huge deal. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I, I love that we're getting this as a uh, kind of as a cultural history check of realizing how, in some ways, because Wales wasn't conquered mm -hmm. by the Saxons, but they've been harried by them over the course of time, in some ways, they're holding on to the old ways is like their act of defiance. Mm -hmm. It might actually oh, yeah. be holding them backwards in terms sure. of technology and all kinds of other things. Yeah. But 
as Ascalad pointed out, the Romans were a very advanced civilization. Uh-huh. So if anything, they might not be behind in certain things. Like right. maybe that's why they're doing okay despite having not that much agricultural land or what have you. They, mm-hmm. they found ways to still make do um, as, a, as a society. Well, well, and especially like, like I'm curious to see. Okay, so the likelihood that like military tactics and things would stay over the amount of time that the Roman Empire has been gone seems very unlikely. Very but, unlikely. But, but there's the possibility. There's a possibility. Like, like <laughs> oh boy, like we could see phalanxes or, you know, well, like, who yeah. knows? If there's enough people that can write things down mm-hmm. and maybe hold on to old scrolls or what have you, which, by the way, they probably wouldn't last that long. That's right. probably the thing that's really freaky is that you would have knowledge that people could read and write and people just don't know how to read or write it. Like sure. the idea that yeah. there'd be a dead language out there that people know bits and pieces of, but mm-hmm. because no one is perpetuating it down the generational line, it's yep. lost over the course of time. Mm-hmm. And you have grandpa who can kind of read this bits little bit of it, yeah, yeah. but it's just there and it can't right. be used like right. that. That's Hence, word of mouth, you know, right. Yeah. But that would be so painful to like be oh, yeah. like aware of oh, for someone like crazy. Ascalad where he's uh-huh. all like, wait, we're in the dawn of, you know, the age of twilight, basically. And oh, man, and oh, man, I watched basically, you know, people watch a culture that was so grand and great yep. fall away. What will be the new thing that dawns? Mm-hmm. And it seems like <laughs> it seems like even though I've got my, you know, slight, you know, Anyway, it seems like he's he's knowing where to put his uh, his eggs, so to speak. Ascalad's Ascalad's right. thinking ahead. Yeah, and yet the the whole thing of why exactly? Why? Like, yeah, what's yeah. the thing uh-huh. that he right? He's tapping. Like into I feel here. like I feel like with Canute here, he basically is buying a startup. Like oh, it's it's one hundred percent that. Yeah, like and everyone else is like, no, 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 no. This no way. This guy, this guy cowers behind his his chaperone. You know, he can't even you know speak mm-hmm. like for himself. No way. But do you see the connection between Thorfinn and Canute though? The fact that they're both the same age. They're both young. Oh, they're uh-huh. both ones that. Oh yeah. Askeladd, what has Askeladd been doing with Thorfinn all this time? Well, grooming him. He's been grooming him, but he's been keeping him super close. Uh huh. If anything, it's like he's saying, yeah. oh, "I yeah. trust my own abilities to shape this boy mm-hmm. more than I do actually the idea that he'd be out there with negative intent towards me." <laughs> well, right. <you> know? <laughs> and well, and one of the things that that okay when when Askeladd was like, "Oh yeah, Thorfinn." You'll, you'll, you know, you'll guard Canute. And I'll reward you with a duel once we get there. So once we get to Gainsborough, yeah. Now, yeah. that could be that he doesn't think much of Thorfinn's combat abilities, and he's like, it's not a big deal to duel him again. But no, I think he's, Thorfinn's proven himself quite a lot. Oh, so that means, I, that means that Askeladd is paying what would seem like a pretty heavy price to be watching after Canute. I think that because not actually that much time has passed, like in between duels, like it mm-hmm. has been some time, like it's been a season yeah, yeah. or what have you. Um, Ascalad is not that worried about an yeah. individual duel. It's more of sure. just the yeah. This is the routine. Five, ten years later, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. And he's more of thinking like that, like right. exactly. But, Five but, to ten years but, later, he's realizing. Oh, this is this is the thing maybe, that this is oh. the thing that drives me crazy, though. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. I feel like Askeladd is basically setting up Thorfinn. Mm -hmm. Not in a bad way. Not in a bad way. In a very good way. By putting him next to someone that could be a a king. That basically he's saying, okay, here's the thing. I can protect this guy, but I'm just some dude. But if I have someone the prince's age that that protects him and does a good job protecting him as he someone will, someone who I have my thumb on, someone who I have my thumb on, yeah. and I can make it so that then the the prince ends up getting that like, oh yeah, I want this kid sticking around me. Then he wants, uh huh. Then he wants Ascalon sticking two around. Degrees. Him. Yep, 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 exactly. Yep. And it's basically, and it's not about the fact of making sure that Canute survives. Now, granted, mm-hmm. they're in. They they just got ambushed here, so yes. having having Thorfinn protecting Canute is a very good thing. But, you know, barring that, it's like, well, okay, yeah, but we're all going to be protecting Canute. So why, why Thorfinn? Mm-hmm. Well, what if it's that it's not actually about Canute being protected? Right. It's about Canute making a friend. Yeah. You know, yeah. like, oh man, oh, oh, oh boy, I, I, <laughs> oh, I boy. immediately went to the, oh, this is how you manipulate and turn um, mm-hmm. Canute into someone that you 
yeah. want him to be. Uh huh. And this is something that I, you know, I couldn't help but kind of mm-hmm. leak out my meta knowledge, and then you're smart, so you glean from it and stuff as well. Is that Canute's a big deal? Right. And, the and they kind that, of said it here, you know, like I mean, yeah, yeah. they're poking at it, mm-hmm. but there's partially a little bit of more meta presentation in how he looks than actually what they're saying about him. Sure, like and how they, would, like, mysteriously built him up and right. things. If, and... if he was an ugly, br- abrasive, you know, kind of just kind of general brat oh, kind of yeah, person, yeah. you would find way less mystery well, surrounding him than if he looked like a Griffith, you oh, know, oh, of kind course. Of. But the thing is, is that there's there that's not just a stylistic choice. There is uh-huh. a logic to that because yeah. in a situation like this where the way you pretty much lead is by being the biggest, you know, meanest, like, you know, like I can I can kill people the best kind right. of thing. Right, in Thorical like, and Ascalad's line right, of right. things. Right, right. It's like you be a warlord, right? Mm-hmm. When you have someone where it's like, okay, they might not be a leader yet, but the thing is that if they ever did lead, they'd probably be leading in a very different way than other people are used yes. to. Yes, yes. And, and just, just the fact that that Canute has been educated means that basically he's a ticking time bomb as far as like if he ever gets to a point of leadership because like and I don't know what happens with Canute but you know when I when I think of like especially with like the Roman Empire right mm-hmm. there was the Roman Empire and there was the fact that they were big and they had you know and they had the technology and things like that and, and everything but the thing that made them really terrifying was the fact of how like well organized they were on the battlefield, right? You know, like like th- they had their they had their legionnaires, they had their you know, or or they had their centurions and you know and all that stuff and like in and with the you yeah. know with uh, Julius Caesar, it was it was the whole th- or wait, uh, I, I'm not as much of a history person, but but it was the whole thing of when you have someone with tactics, they can just flay the other side. Like, yeah, there there were very few. Um... Uh, commanders of uh, military force that went up against the Romans other than maybe Hannibal that had tactics that were superior to the Romans uh, once they hit the height of their power. It was basically just warring tribes and uprisings mm-hmm. and such like that. And obviously there were points where the Romans had a lot of troubles and then they hit decadence and mm-hmm. went into yeah. the descent of you know all that. But um, yeah, 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 exactly. Very, very good point. Like, you do not see minute minutia tactics on these levels of a battlefield. It's more of a general strategy with, mm-hmm. like, two angles to it. Right. And with the Romans, yeah, because of the dissemination of leadership, mm-hmm. you know, a centurion taking hold of their 100 men. Yeah. Um, you would have a very clear... Um, Oh, a wow. level of communication between forces and stuff like which that. is basically what Ascalad is doing well that's the thing i wanted to bring up oh yeah and, and the and Ascalad the... is a hundred men and he wears roman type armor hmm. Hmm. i wonder i wonder how he got that idea hmm. yeah yeah yep. yeah and he even has his one uh his one second in command that is his basically the, the person that they never have any disputes between they're constantly mm-hmm. in a good state of mind with each right, other right right you're never questions ask a lot like in front of everyone then they have their mm-hmm. little talks behind yeah you know, everyone's, everyone's asleep, asleep and, and what like have that, you yeah. and then you know even Bjorn, he doesn't tell him everything but he tells him why this is mm-hmm. happening so that he can go okay i i get it yeah that makes sense oh man. um okay we're going through wales we're going through Wales. Yes. This is um, Askeladd's, Askeladd's game here is that he's going to leverage the fact that this will give them a good, probably, buffer of, I would say, maybe three days, probably, mm-hmm. of extra time ahead of, of Thorical. Yeah. But I'm going to say that that's about it. Because what they've actually done is they still need to go northeast. So because Thorical is going also semi-east by a little mm-hmm. bit north yeah. uh, around the river... He's not actually, you know, creating that much separation because they're both kind of going the same way. And then um, uh, if if Thorical is smart, he'll know essentially where um, he has a good chance of cutting off. Uh, well, yeah. Of, uh, uh-huh. Thorfinn, not Askeladd, because yeah, his, yeah. his mind is not even on Askeladd. He's like, uh, my mind, it's King Swain. Yeah. Thor's his dead body. I, I need to go see. <laughs> I need. I need to go see my my nephew. Basically, like, like, <laughs> right. This is a family reunion. Like, yeah, yeah. He's like, like, I was, I was bros with your dad in the army. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, this is gonna be great. Yeah. Um. But the thing is, is that even if they win here in this battle, and they are 
in a horrible situation. Like mm. the number of archers that yeah. were there with the fact that elevation and, you know, element of surprise and everything. And a lot like, of people are going to die. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people are going to die. And even if they survive, yeah, the fact, that'll slow them down a lot. Yeah, the fact that um, they thought they were in a safe environment, too. Mm-hmm. They thought that they were allies. Ragnar probably like this is this is the thing that kind of pisses me off because I I like that this is mm-hmm. happening. It makes sense. Ragnar was loud and he was making a lot of just bluster about this whole thing here. Mm-hmm. Any one of the people at the docks there at the harbor could have just been like, "Oh, that's some big info. I'm gonna I'm pass gonna that go, along. I'm gonna go pass that pass that along for a yeah. few coin." Mm-hmm. Then they set up this whole ambush along the way. Sure. The thing is, is that these could be people literally just looking to do the same thing that Thoracol and Askeladd and all them are doing. Mm-hmm. They're looking for a reward. Yep. yep. But the fact that these are probably oh, yeah. like, you know, Welsh bowmen and stuff like that, which, by the way, Welsh bowmen is something that you, you don't want to mess with. Like, these are going to be people that are accurate. Like, Stormtrooper aim isn't going to be a... Uh, isn't going to be a thing here? Isn't going to well, be I mean, a thing we, here. Well, I mean, we saw how... Uh, how Ascalad's horse got porcupined. Like, uh-huh. you like, uh huh. Yeah. Like, they're at long range, so they don't really need to, like, be that accurate mm-hmm. because they're mostly just firing into a cluster of hundred right, men right. on a line on a road. Uh huh. But the fact that they have elevation. Yeah, because, like, it it'll take, take, it'll take at least a couple minutes and, just for and them to get up there. And they're, like, staggered and stuff. So, like, it would take a long time for them to be able to get up to just the first line of archers. Yep. But they can still fire. And who's to say there aren't archers on the opposite side? You know, uh, well, isn't it sloped all the way down? Like, doesn't the road? Oh, it go wasn't. Down it wasn't. A, it wasn't a valley. I don't think it was a valley. Oh, okay. I, I could go back and check, but I, I think that because if it's a valley, then then you know, prepare for trouble, make it double because like you, you have to go and take care of them, but then you also have to go back down, and if you split your forces, well, that can well, you'll just leave the road. That's that's the right. main thing is that yeah. you you either leave the road entirely without trying to fight mm-hmm. at all, and you just shields up on your back or what have you and hope that you don't get hit right rolling the dice at that point Mm -hmm. or you have to attack and the charge up the hill is going to be bloody death and and the thing is and the thing is the shield wall awesome if it is a valley people on the other side can just be like oh cool yeah all right let's let's just cover each other's bases you shoot at the shield wall coming towards us we'll shoot at the shield wall coming towards you Yeah. yeah yeah that's the thing like yeah even then though a shield wall is not. Yeah, uh, it, yeah, yeah, it helps, but yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. not going to do too much. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, it'll do something, but, but yeah. Well, and and they did get reinforcements, so that is helpful, right? They're not <laughs> reinforcements. Well, I mean, you know, there's probably some really guys. I think them. it's mostly just Gratianus and like a few guys. Because well, the thing is, is that if Gratianus is the leader, I don't think he would go anywhere by himself. I don't think he was going to be going far with him, though. I think he was mostly just giving him a little bit of a like. A, oh, I figured it was like an like an escort of like we'll we'll take you there kind of a thing. Hey, or oh no, that that's right, awesome. No, or or yeah, no, they were maybe it was that they were going to be doing a pass off of like get to the next kingdom and be like, hey, you know, well yeah, not the next kingdom. But, well, well, but, yeah, but the, the, next... the next you know little tribal right. you know yeah uh-huh. right the next the next station basically yeah yeah um. But oh boy. Okay, well, we in oh Wales. Boy. We in Wales and, now, y'all. And what an and, episode. Like, what and a way to I, leave I am, I am an idiot <laughs> for thinking Ireland, because I'm like, wait, I'm like, they, maybe is the water, like, that close at certain parts? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> to get to Ireland, that's like crossing big, something bigger than the English well, Channel. And, and so, 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 since I don't know much about, you know, history of this time, uh-huh. Wales, located in relation to, like, you know, everything, like, or and I don't know geography. Right. So, so so Scotland was essentially everything forced above Hadrian's Wall or past a certain point um, when the Romans had everything. But now Scotland is yeah, it's it's awkward basically. Okay. Then you have essentially England, which is basically mm-hmm. the south um, yeah kind of whole chunk mm-hmm. there. There was this little bit of England that basically if you put england and you put it like a hand right here Mm -hmm. there was a little bit like right here gotcha and that part was wales okay and yeah the united kingdom right now is still also like really awkward with brexit and everything and then there's that bit that like 
connects into Ireland, like that northern part of Ireland, where it's okay. awkward borders and stuff like that. It has always been a weird border situation, like mm-hmm. throughout yeah, well, England's whole history. Right, yeah, I, I knew I knew about that, but like, but as far as at, like, because you know, you hear about like uh like scotland and, and ireland a lot more than like than like wales i i, I like i feel like i i don't i don't know too much yeah. about about um yeah that in what the situation would be like in uh, right during this time period during this time period i have little knowledge okay. regarding wales because most of my knowledge was surrounding um what was going on more actually with the danes and their raids oh, in okay. england so the mm-hmm. western side of England, yeah, you know, they would well, and, send their and ships that often all the way around to right. go to that side. Um, so, yeah, but, I don't actually know as much. But that's why this is like this is so cool because this is because really the cool, stuff yeah. that they're bringing up, like the whole the whole like you know, r- like Roman culture that seems to have survived and stuff. It's like mm-hmm. yeah, that actually totally makes sense. But I never would have thought about it if they hadn't shown it here. Right, you know? I I agree. Yeah, that that yeah. is that is probably one of the coolest. Uh, the coolest kind of mini reveals for Ascalad is that mm-hmm. not only is he a, you know, someone who was a fan of the Romans. That, that's a weird thing right. to say, but he 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 appreciated the 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 the, the civilization that they brought to this this area mm-hmm. and what have you. And he has like a respect for it, like a healthy respect for it. Mm-hmm. But he acknowledges that their time is long past and everything. But then his allies are basically ex descendants of Romans. Right, Not, right. I mean, descendants. Obviously, yeah, yeah. a lot of but, them are probably all but, descendants. But the idea Romans, that but they're cultural descendants as well. A cultural like, descendants. Yeah, yeah, that's a uh-huh. that's a huge, yep. cool, fun reveal. Mm-hmm. And then the idea also that Ascalad is born of two worlds. So he has no loyalty necessary to the Viking Nordic way any more than maybe Thorfinn does. And that's something that, that's something that's kind of exciting because he brought up the whole legend here, you like the whole thing oh, of uh-huh. uh, yeah 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 Artorias yeah. coming yep. coming west from uh-huh. Avalon yeah. to to take the sword up and it's like you did the what the what like <laughs> like like crossover are, are between Vincent and the Fate series no <laughs> no but but just uh-huh. just like bringing up like the whole King Arthur legend right. Which is one of the most ridiculous legends because there's so many stupid interpretations of it. Mm-hmm. But the whole sword in the stone thing is the, the mystical part that everyone right. just kind of is like, oh yeah, that that's obviously not a thing in real life, you know. But it's a but the thing is, is it's that, a very iconic image, so we well, can get around well, it, and it makes and it would pass along very well word of mouth. Right, exactly, because with how it things are back then, word of mouth is all you have. Basically, that's all you have. So I mean, people could. I mean, yeah. Oh, Some yeah, people yeah. could read and write. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right, right. But as far as, like, mass dissemination of information, yes. you know, like, that was word of mouth. Yep. So, oh, man. Town oh, man. criers and people on horseback running around. Yep, yep. yep. Or oh, with boy. boats, actually, in this oh, right. case. Right, yeah. I loved, though, that, um, that the boats Ascalad... Were... Well, no, I love that Ascalad went alone, basically, as a kind of a, I come in peace because I'm oh, one uh-huh. of you. Sure. Yeah. Because he could tell maybe that the guy had like maybe a look about him, and he was like, "Ah, this right. is probably one of my people." Yeah. Oh man, and the way they built up to like, you know, they're like, "What? There's just two dudes," and I'm like, "Is this going to be some sort of like, you know, anime style? These are two super badass assassins right. or something I, like that?" You know, I'm like I don't know. Okay. And then, my mind immediately went to witches with a cauldron. Then I was like, okay, that's stupid. <laughs> then my mind went to basically badasses, but mm-hmm. in the line of people that practice some like mystical kind of form of you know superstitious what what have you Uh and it's not that they're necessarily going to do anything physically but they're going to help lay like distractions with the fog or what have you so that they can misdirect them or, or something and then i saw the way they looked and i was like oh my god are we going to get like a Roman centurion with a small group of men? And you were like, are we getting phalanxes? And I was just like, but, but it's, I'm thinking in my head, but it's 1013. Right. right. There's no way Roman, like anything would survive in a like broad scale mm-hmm. kind of thing here. But then they got on freaking Tyremes and I'm like, what, what, what? These ships designs like this is, this is what? Well, and, and so, so, like that is an old ship design for those of you that don't oh, yeah, know. Like yeah. you know this, but mm-hmm. like 
that's like not from like when the Romans fell kind of thing. That's like from way before. Right. That's the that's the that's the when you ram the other ship. Mm-hmm. You know, with your ship, so that you can board their ship. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. Right. Um, no. No. Okay. Like so those ships didn't turn well. Let's just right. say that they were awkward. And at this and at this point in time, because because uh, what was it? Byzantium didn't actually fall until like the like fourteen hundred A.D. or something like that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. you're jumping to the right. other end okay. of the continent here. Right, right. Because because there was because there was two sections of the Roman Empire from from what I what little I know actually. Right, like like what how how did that actually work? Okay, that's not really relevant history okay, okay, here. Sure, but I know what you're talking yeah. about. But that was yeah, that's that's a whole nother ball okay. game. <laughs> okay, yeah, because I okay, but oh man, I know you're you're. I'm, your I'm Age trying of Empires to... one knowledge is trying to bleed into your Age of Empires well, two knowledge. Right. I'm trying to get a grid for basically like just how gone is the Roman Empire, like because because the, well okay you know we can get into things about you know yeah, yeah. The, the schism of you mm-hmm. know you know the. That's more. There's gets into some religious stuff there, but but yeah, I, I know what mm-hmm. you're. I know what you're talking about there. Okay. The stuff that will be relevant here, mm-hmm. at the very least, is going to be based around um, bloodlines in England specifically. There will probably not be any Roman influence because gotcha. of what the Normans did um, in taking over England, and then that's where. Well, actually, no, no, that's later, but. But yeah, it's the Saxons right now, which are okay. Viking England kind of gotcha. shenanigans. The French will probably be maybe a little bit important, and that's not really a much of a Roman okay. kind of thing there because they were mm-hmm. never really fully conquered because of the Gauls. So yeah, all right. I think it's more of just the surprise that oh, by the way, Wales is the uh-huh. the vestige, the last right. remaining bit of. And I mean, Roman culture. Yeah, like, area. which is just, which is, that's the, just so freaking it's, cool. It's just really cool. And the fact that historically that actually does, like, I could see why that potentially could have yeah, been I, a, a thing. I can't like, refute it or even confirm it. Right, I have right, no right, idea exactly. About this but it's just like, there. okay, right. awesome. Let's that's see so what happens awesome. here. Yeah. 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 And now mm-hmm. we have a, a mystical legend being brought up that most average of a, one of us in the West, we know about that legend. Right. But the idea that it's being brought up. And it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa oh, wait, 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 hold on, hold, hold up hold a on. minute, hold on, hold up a minute. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. See, see, oh. see. <laughs> I, this has something to do with canoe. Canoe, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, 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 put a curb on all your theories, uh huh. Because, because, okay, because this is about this is about belief. This isn't about reality. Oh no, no, totally. But but the thing is, but now belief, reality. What does it even mean in this time period, I, anyways? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But now you have a little bit of an idea why he's potentially looking at Canute with a little bit of. I see. Oh, oh. <laughs> I see. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, but just keep that in mind because it's it's. I, I don't want to be spoilery. But right, right, right. But uh huh. Yeah. It's not as hard of lines specifically with certain things. Sure. It's, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're getting into okay. really cool impressionistic kind of belief patterns and well, things and also, that lead towards people making pretty crazy decisions. Right. But well, and, and then there's yeah. also the idea that they don't have to stick to, you know, history 100% because, you know, like, right. they have some original characters in here. And then there's also the idea sure. of how clear are the records from back then kind right. of a thing. Yeah, but, there are there are certain things that they will stick probably pretty right. hard to uh-huh. history for. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. But, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm, this I'm, is, I'm hyped, good. dude. I'm hyped, This is so good. This I, is awesome. I love this show. I love this show a lot, too. Uh, Thorkel <sighs> is being Thorkel, and yep. mm-hmm. uh, he's on his way, yep. and they're making their way the long way around the river, which means we have time, but we're getting ambushed, so next episode, we'll find out how everyone survives. So, <sighs> thank you all for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our pa- pa- <laughs> Patreon. You can get on early access there. You can watch... You can do full length re- actions there. Speaking is hard. Yeah. It's really hard. But uh, yeah, if any level of support uh, is given to us, you get access to our Discord right. where you can chat with us, uh, the community about anime, about uh, Vinland Saga, the community for the spoiler stuff, and us just as we you know watch mm-hmm. the episodes and stuff. 
but you can also talk with Jacob about the book yes. he wrote that's pretty awesome. That's right, because you haven't well. heard of it before, ever, right? Uh, my sci-fi novel, Battle Lines, is still available for order on Amazon, and if you haven't gotten it yet, what are you doing? The link's in the description. There's some reviews there, so you can check those out to see what it's all about. And uh, if you do get it, make sure to leave a review of your own. Yeah, so if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. <laughs> I'm Jakub. And we shall see you all next, next time. time. <laughs>